So I've arrived in Liverpool today. I'm playing at the Cavern Club, drumming, MDing, and making like tracks for Leah Weller. It's gonna be wicked. First time playing the Cavern Club, but Liverpool, I'm so excited to be here. Like it's my favorite city going. Our hotel's looking across at the arena, which is where I last played, which is in September. Here's a little clip. But yeah, today I'm playing at the Cavern Club, famous for the Beatles, and I'll keep you posted through it. We have arrived backstage at the Cavern Club, time for a look around. So this is my fourth or fifth gig with Leah now. It's so cool playing like a completely different genre to what I'm used to. We're now running tracks since I've joined uh, playing with the band. So it sounds really, really full and it's such a cool band today. We've got um, Steve Craddock on guitar and his son Cass also on guitar. We've got Mac on keys and of course Leah singing. So very, very exciting. It's also a really, really cool kit set up. It's got a BDC kit, which is awesome. Best sounding kit, best looking kit. So I'll do a quick walkthrough of the setup, what I'm using for the gig today with Leah at the Cavern Club. You've got a BDC Legend Series kit, 12 inch storm and a 16, running all Zildjian cymbals. And then my Roland to run the tracks and my mini mixer. Yeah, down the time again. Spot on, thank you. So this is my last gig, 2022. Wicked to end it with Leah Weller at the Cavern Club. It's like such an iconic venue and yeah, it's gonna be insane. I've had an insane year gigging with since September, doing the Little Mix tour and loads of other festivals with my band Sour Kicks, doing loads of festivals and loads more stuff coming next year. And then also with 29 Fingers, a cover band that I'll be doing like on some Fridays and Saturdays. So yeah, it's been a pretty busy year. It's my first like proper professional year of drumming. Next year I hope a lot more is gonna come with stuff with Leah and other artists and my band Sour Kicks. So keep an eye out for that. I've also had a lot of people ask what goes on behind a gig. So I'm gonna try and capture like what the band get up to what goes on at the venue, but to be honest, all we've done today, rocked up at the hotel, checked in, came straight here, I loaded our stuff, I've done my drum sound check, the rest of the guys are doing their instruments, and then we do the whole band sound check, and then we chill until it's show time, and then it's the pack down, which is the worst bit, the pack down, getting back to the hotel, and then going home in the morning, but yeah, I'll film what goes on behind the scenes. The stage is literally around the corner there. I'm gonna walk you through the dressing room. It's nothing special, like, band dressing rooms are always overhyped. Unless you're playing in like stadiums and you get to choose your own interior designs, get like sofas and stuff. They're all pretty much the same. Like, they have a fridge, a sofa, a mirror, a toilet. That's it. So this is the cabin dressing room. So you come in, got band members only, very important. No one else allowed. And this is the room. <laughs> Literally, as I said, you've got sofas, a mini fridge with some beer and water, a mirror, the loo, and some pretty cool pictures. What's in the fridge? Beer, water. Oh, was that for a second? Pretty nice. Oh, that's white wine, I don't really know. You've got these, best crisp going, like, I'm so addicted to these. More alcohol, pretty good. And then the walk to the stage. So on the rare opportunity, there's like a kit at the venue. I was the first to set up, which like never happens. Um, so now it's just me waiting around until we get the call to do the sound check. I'm not used to this, so I don't really know what to do. I'll just sit down in the dressing room, but I'm having a look around because it's a pretty cool place. 
There's another gig going on in the small room opposite, like, and this street where the cabin club is, is just crazy. The amount of people walking around, the amount of shops, and everything is just to do with the Beatles. It is pretty cool. I didn't, last time I came, I just didn't even come around to this place, but uh, still got to do the, go to the Beatles Museum and have a look at that. And yeah, Liverpool's pretty interesting, I think. Tom, are we being celeb spotting? Have you seen a Steve with you yet? So basically, I just want to say one thing. Um, we're in Liverpool. Yeah, we are. And where the f is Steven Gerrard? Where's Steven Gerrard? Where the f is he? <laughs> is he coming later, do you know? I think so. I think so. Did you invite him? Yeah, Did you yeah, give yeah. him a call? I, I called him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steven G. But he went on the voicemail, so I was like, Oi, mate. Oi, G. Steven Gerrard. <laughs> Steven Gerrard, I'm here for you. <laughs> On in 30 minutes, we just arrived back at the venue from the hotel and it's looking pretty even like down the main street, which is pretty cool.
So we have just arrived back at the hotel. I'm in the corridor waiting for Mac to come and get open the door because I don't know where he is and he's the only one with the key. My error. But I've got like this hotel trolley thing that I bought up because I couldn't carry it all. But uh, the gig was like unbelievable. I recorded the whole set, so I hope you enjoy. Have a look at some of the songs. Um, yeah, final gig of 2022. Went out with pretty big bang. Uh, playing the Cavern Club it was wicked. One off the bucket list. It was awesome playing with Leah, and I hope to do many more next year. That's it, 2022 gigs done. So as soon as the set finished, if anyone's interested, because people ask like, what happens around a gig? We literally go off stage, um, have a little like drink and say well done to everyone. Uh, but then we actually don't have any more songs, but all the crowd were like really hyped up, really wanted Leah to come out and do some more. But um, we had to like wait until we go out and pack up because otherwise people would think that we'll be doing more. So after like five, 10 minutes of waiting, we went out and all we do, pack up, steal the rider, like the beers and spare stuff that was going, get in the car and drive to the hotel. So that is literally what happened. I'm still in the corridor waiting. I should probably call, see where they are. Everyone's looking at me weirdly because I have this like massive trolley with all my stuff on and the stolen rider stuff. But I kind of want to go to bed. Is what it is, can't get in. <laughs> We got in finally, uh, time to kip out, then home time tomorrow, and that's, that's the end.